If you're struggling to stand out on Amazon, then this video is for you. This is our hot seat inside the Profitable Pineapple Farm. Go to ProfitablePineappleFarm.com to join us live so we can actually take your listing and butcher it in person to increase your conversion rate, to increase your keyword rankings. When we put people on the hot seat, their sales go up pretty much instantly as a result of making the changes that we discuss. So we're going to dive into a couple listings today. So let's jump right in. So hot seat time. Um, we picked a couple of random listings and then we're doing a couple of you inside the profitable pineapple farm. And so hopefully we've done this in the past and there's always one or two small little things that we can add to your listing that make a massive difference. And so I love doing these hot seats because it brings so much value to you all, not only if we're doing it for your listing, but also for other people's listing, because there should be things in here that you're like, oh, I've never even thought about doing that. So let me shrink that. We're going to come over here first. So we use Zonguru for this. We use two tools, Keywords on Fire and Listing Optimizer. They're tools that work incredibly well. And we've fallen in love with these tools. We've actually switched from these from Helium 10 to these, don't tell Helium 10 I said that, but we switched completely to Zonguru for everything inside the agency because it pretty much replaces almost Helium 10 for everything, except I still like Helium 10 for keyword research, but it is still great on here. It's just learning a different system. So I'm going to show you first, we're going to do some keto-friendly certified clean coffee, which is bulletproof. It doesn't even make any sense. Like, isn't coffee keto in the first place, but people search for keto-friendly certified clean coffee. And so um, we're going to do that one with Bulletproof, and then we'll do um, some tea as well, some intermittent fasting tea and some detox tea as well, if we have time. And so let's jump straight in. So the first thing that I always like to do is create the keywords on fire, and I'll show you how to do this, but we loaded it beforehand because it does take a while and we didn't want to waste your time there. So you go to add products by phrases. And so this is the phrase that we're looking up. And so we're going to put that into here. And then you go to search and it will pull up different ones. And so what you want to do is pick your product. Hopefully you're, you're going to be pulled up by this, or you can just put your ASIN in and then let's pick up some other ones. So just grabbing some other ones that show up for this. And then you hit add products and it will populate all these ASINs. And then what I would do is add your ASIN in here if it didn't show up. Then you click run keyword analysis. And after you enter a name, so name here and then run keyword analysis. And it's going to run that right there. Um, so it takes a long time to work, but we already did it for you. And so that's what this is right here. Let's look into it. All right. So Chris, clarify for me, was that the keyword that you were going after was keto friendly certified clean coffee? Yeah. Yeah. That's the, that's the right keyword. Okay, cool. And so keywords on fire is going to pull up all the ones that are around that. And so you can see clean coffee is one of them. Keto coffee, which is so funny that people look up keto coffee, but yeah, you can see keto coffee right there, 14,389. So pretty good right there. Mold-free coffee, that's becoming a, a thing as well. I mean, it's been a thing since Bulletproof. He kind of made mold-free coffee popular. There's keto coffee right there. Keto coffee pods, keto coffee, it works. Keto coffee, it works. Is keto coffee a brand name? I'm going to look that up first, actually. Sounds like keto coffee might be a brand name. Let's look it up. Nope. So Bulletproof just, oh yeah. So yeah, keto coffee. I figured it was Keto Vitals. So they're coming up with Keto Coffee. I wonder if they've trademarked that. It doesn't look like they've trademarked it, but Keto Coffee, Instant Keto Coffee. I'm guessing when people are looking up Keto Coffee, maybe they're looking for like a mocha or a vanilla type flavor and then trying to get it. But Bulletproof kind of dominates this category. And it looks like they have made kind of a Keto Coffee type thing. And let's see what's in it. Yeah, so they've actually made their Bulletproof Coffee, which is MCT oil, butter, and the coffee inside of a pod, which is pretty crazy. So you can see keto coffee is the butter blend, MCT oil. So essentially it's bulletproof coffee put into a keto pod or into a pod. All right, let's jump back over here. And so you can just see all the, the keywords that are related to this, and this will come into play later. So now that this is loaded, we then go over to product listing optimizer, which again, listing optimization, listing optimizer right here. We already have pulled this up, but what you can do is you can put in the same keyword. So you can see it right here and we'll put it right here, hit create a session. And then what you do is you add your keywords right here. So you import, import keywords on fire, and then you'll look for the one that you're doing, add keywords. And then you can also pick strong, medium, or all keywords. 
I like to do all, and then you hit add keywords. Strong and medium is just going to be um, Zanguru score of 50 and higher. And if you just do strong, it's Zanguru score of 75 and higher. It's just a scoring system that they give. If you do all, you'll get all of the, the keywords. That, and then you hit add keywords. So that's going to bring it up. And then what you do is you add your listings. Same thing from here. You can add your own products if you have your brand loaded in here, or you can add products listing from Amazon. So you can do by keywords again. So we could put our keywords right here. I know that's not a complete keyword, but I'm just showing you an example. And it will pull up those ASINs right here. And then you just click those ASINs to add it. Or you can add ASINs individually by right here as well. And so I'm not going to show you guys how to do that because it's, it's easy. It's right there. So let's go back to the one that we already built. All right. So Bulletproof, Coffee, Keto. We're going to pull that up. And you can see once you put those ASINs in, it's going to populate all of them. And hopefully one of yours is in here. And this is where the magic happens. This is where the hot seat pays off because we're going to show you what we're looking for in here and what you can add to your listing to help boost it even higher in the keyword rankings. And so right away, I see a huge flaw in Bulletproof. And can anybody see that, that flaw? Go for it, Chris. Um, they don't have the keyword Bulletproof, two <laughs> separate words. Yeah, so they have their, their main keyword, which is Bulletproof, one word, which is how their brand name is usually served, but they don't have Bulletproof in two words. So that's going to increase their optimization score quite a bit. And you can see their listing strength is only a 5.2, but look at the rest of their competitors, 1.7, 3.1, 3.3, 1.8. So there's opportunity to come into this space if you wanted to compete with Bulletproof, um, but it will be uphill. So just keep that in mind because Bulletproof has such a, a big loyal brand following. But something as simple, like let's look at this right here. So 6826, I'm going to simply just add Bulletproof two words to the back end and see what happens. So if you click this bullet and proof, it will add them both to the back end. And let's watch just what happens here. To add it. Oh, they don't even have search terms, which is mind blowing as well. So we added both of those. And you can see right there, it jumped up by almost 500 optimization score. So it's gonna increase your listing strength that much. Purity Coffee, that sounds like a brand name as well. Again, avoid brand names, even in your back end. IP is huge. And if you use brand names in your back end, you will get sued. You may not get sued, but you'll get shut down and you may get sued. So keep that in mind, try to avoid putting brand names in your back end. period. It's one of the biggest lawsuits right now. Um, I've talked to Jeff Schick in person recently, about a month ago at a conference, and then also on a call we did here for the farm. And he said the biggest suspension reason that he sees is IP infringement. People that are using brand names in their back end. We can scrape back ends now. And the reason I said, oh, wow, Bulletproof doesn't even have any search terms in their back end is because I can see their back end. This tool scrapes the back end search terms and shows it to us. Hey, it's Dr. Travis Ziegler, and I wanted to thank you for watching this video. I just wanted to take a brief couple seconds to let you know about a free Amazon PPC masterclass that I have. Just head to profitablepineapple.com to sign up for that free Amazon PPC masterclass, or you can click the link down below in the description. I'll see you inside. So they're also missing Spanish. So cafe, Adam, could you help me out? Para bajar de peso. To lose weight. To lose weight. So a weight loss coffee. So adding all those, adding mold. Rapid fire seems like a, that looks like a trademark term for me. Pods, this may not be pods, but I would try to rank for it because you do have pods. Keto coffee, it works. I don't even know what that means. Is that a brand as well? Keto coffee, it works. Yeah, so it works is a brand name as well. It's a pretty good brand name. Um, rise mushroom for weight loss. Weight loss is tricky. You can get in trouble for weight loss, putting that in. So be careful with that. Make sure you don't claim that you can lose weight with your coffee, but keep that in mind. Skinny coffee, it works. Life Boost is a big competitor of theirs. There's cafe with the tilde. So if somebody from um, that speaks Spanish has their Spanish keyboard and they're using the tilde, you can rank for that. So put that in there and rapido. So that's fast weight loss, right? Yes. That. Learn Spanish. Um, Sugar-free protein powder. Um, protein powder I'd probably use as a negative, but um, Life Boost, Rapido, 
mushroom K cup. So I'm going to put K in there just because it's K cup and bulletproof mentalist coffee. So I don't know if this is their mentalist coffee, but uh, I'd still want to try to get them on this. Mentalist is one of their roasts. Keto coffee creamer, Kion, Keurig variety packs. So you get, kind of get the idea. I'm just going through this list and adding keywords that could provide significant boosts to their rankings. So let's go back up here and look what we've done. By just adding those, we've upped our optimization score by almost 2,000 points. And so huge difference in the before and after of just adding these search terms and these are these keywords into the back end. And these are good keywords. So adding bulletproof, two words, huge. You can see it's suggesting it right here, especially in the title. And then you can also see in the description, it's saying keto coffee. It works, of course, avoid that 30 day. Um, Keurig, that's trademark. Don't use it even though you have pods. And then acid free coffee might be a good one. So we could add acid free because they're low acidic, low acid. And then if you have this plugged into your Amazon, you can actually publish this with an API. It's almost like a flat file going straight in. Um, and you can hit publish and it will go straight into your Amazon listing, um, similar to how a flat file works. All right, let's actually look at the listing itself and just take a look at what Bulletproof is doing. And so this is their French kick. This is not their mentalist. You can see their mentalist is right here. So I'd still try to draw people into this mentalist or into this listing for the mentalist just because you want it to rank for mentalists as well. And so when somebody types in mentalist coffee, they'll find your other products as well because they may think they want the mentalist coffee. Men mental. But what you want to do is show up for all of your coffees. And so they're like, oh, wait, they have all these other brands as well or all these other roasts as well to try it out. It looks like they need a video ad. So it looks like somebody's taking over their video ads right there. And then you can see all their other ones, K-Cups and everything. So they do a pretty good job of protecting the listing. Let's actually look at just Bulletproof Coffee in general. I'm going to do two words just to see what comes up. So Bulletproof right there, completely ignoring their spaced out word. And people found that as an opportunity and are completely dominating them. So all I did was put a space into Bulletproof and they don't have it on their listings. So therefore they're not showing as relevant for advertising. They're not advertising on those words. So Four Sigmatic, Lavaza, Clean Coffee, Ke What's this one? Keto Coffee. Those are all taking their spots, but then organically they're still there because Amazon understands well enough that Oh, if they're looking for bulletproof with the space, they're probably going to look for bulletproof with one word. So they are highly relevant for that keyword, but they're just getting dominated in ads by all their competitors. Here's Four Sigmatic again. Um, this is organic. This is paid. San Francisco Bay Coffee. Again, here's organic. Paid, again, kicking in there. And so there's another paid one. And then... Funny thing enough, their video is actually showing. So every paid spot on this page, except for the video and the sponsored brand is uh, theirs or not theirs. So that's a huge opportunity that they're losing right now. So Bulletproof, if you're watching this, you can hire us, but you might want to start advertising for the space and putting it in the back end of all your listings. Just a word of advice. All right, cool. So advertising breakdown. Uh, Overall, probably really good, and but huge opportunity with that spaced out word. Lots of searches for that. And so they could probably increase their sales quite a bit and decrease their ACOs quite a bit just by doing that. Anything anybody else noticed about their listings? I wonder if they could make more, make their title longer. I think that's about 150 anyway. characters without doing any of the research. Uh, reviews, this could be huge. They have such a... They have such a big audience of raving fans that I guarantee they could send one email out, get a ton of sales on this product at a 10% discount and get so many people to buy it that they would review it positively and boost this back up. So they're at 4.1 stars. It's going to kill their conversion rate. And if they just got up to 4.3, it would like double their conversion rate. Again, they're probably not too concerned about that, but still could make a big difference for them. Um, let's scroll down and check out things. So they might've stocked out. So this is really good. Frequently bought together. Um, you can see they're really protecting their brand by sponsoring. This is more to shop from Bulletproof. Uh, great brand story. Talks about the purpose of the brand and all that. Product description looks really good as well. Um, not really any text in it. So they're heavily relying on Amazon just scanning these product photos 
the photos look really clean and good, but text helps you get indexed even more. This would be a good spot in the text to put the space, bullet space proof, or you could even make the alt images bullet space proof as well. So that's something to think about with that. Um, and it looks like they're doing a great job of posting. So they're posting so much that this actually is from the brand. So that's pretty cool. And then all the videos are from them as well. This is what branding does. This is what creating a brand does is it makes it so you can completely dominate this area and not have to worry about other videos and other posts going on there as well. They could probably do a better job at defending their own listings. They have one out of six. And so they're just letting people advertise on their thing and sit in right here as well. So two big spots and opportunities that they can add on their own ASINs to help with that. Brands in this category on Amazon. And then you can see, yeah, they're just showing other people as well. Let's go back up to the top. And you can see right here, Nespresso, Keurig Coffee Lovers, Folgers. I mean, they're letting all these people walk all over their listings. So they need to do a better job at defending by doing sponsored display ads on their own ASINs and then also defending their own ASINs and then doing that spaced advertising bullet space proof for advertising and putting it in their listing. Those are kind of the two big, big things that I see with this. Anything else? Cool. This one gets really good reviews, so that's good. And But still, people are advertising all over their listings. Yeah. It's crazy. Go back to the search page, search page, please. This is this is weird because it doesn't have their brand story in here. So they must not have put it on all the racins, which I didn't know you could separate it. I always thought it just went across all your racins, but maybe we just did that because we just did that. Search page. What do you want me to search? Um, just type in bulletproof. One word or two. Um, don't tell me what's the main keyword that's non-branded. Uh, that was the keto. Let me go get that. Keto friendly, certified, clean coffee. Yeah, please type that in. And then as we scroll down, we can see whether or not they have category ads going on on the sides. So as you scroll down, maybe halfway down, you'll see it on like the left hand side to see if there's anybody running category ads. This um, might be that could specific be specific of a keyword. Yeah. So um, but keep see. going. Hold on, let me, yeah. I want to see, yeah, this isn't showing up. Let's do, what we do just keto coffee. Where did you get this keyword, Chris? I pulled it straight from their title. Oh, okay. I don't know if it gets that much, but let's do keto coffee. So um, when you pull this next time, look for the first non-branded keyword, like keto coffee, because that gets 15,000. Okay. So they have their video. They have these two sponsored, which is good. They probably have more products that they could take over those as well. And then there you go. Category targeting. Yep. That's what go. Adam was talking about. And then you can see they're they're organically a little further down than most. Now let's see if they have this video as well. Uh, I'm not seeing a video. There it is. So again, yeah, one of their main non-branded keywords. So they're not really showing up well on their branded, even though they have the sponsor brand video top of search ad, but they could make another one to show up later down. So yeah couple points that they're missing on. Um, let's move on to the tea. Kim's Are, tea. Go ahead. Is the buy box for Bulletproof, um, was it sold by Amazon as well? Could be half the problem. I know, I know, yeah, I know that they had exited um, like a, a year or two ago. He sold Bulletproof off. So I wonder if that uh, uh, one-time purchase. Sold by Bulletproof. Oh, okay. Yeah, perhaps it's a vendor account. No, that's oh, uh, third party. All right, let's jump into the tea. So we went over this last week. So if you guys missed last week's call around the discussion of building a whole brand around intermittent fasting herbal tea, I'd highly recommend going back and watching that again from last week's call because we went into extreme depth about building a brand around this intermittent fasting tea. It was, it was a pretty deep dive. So I would highly recommend going back into that. I'm not going to show you guys how to build up keywords on fire and listing optimizer again because I just showed you that before. So let's just jump right into the data. So intermittent fasting tea, let's see what kind of search volume we got for some of these. Tea, I wouldn't recommend going after that. Detox cleanse for weight loss and belly fat, that might be good for the other one. Appetite suppressant. Uh, so let me actually go back to this. That's why I like the Zanguru score. There we go. A scale between one, zero and 100 that rates the overall value, including this keyword in your listing. 
And so that's the relevant score essentially is what you can think of it as. So fasting tea is a big one. Um, keyword intermittent fasting drink. That would be a good one. 107,000 potential intermittent fasting drink mix. This could be like a good second product, making like a powder mix for your intermittent fasting tea. Um, I actually just had a powder tea not too long ago. And then detox tea, that will be good for the other one, but it still could be good for this. Weight loss tea, another big one. Um, flat tummy tea. So that's something to keep in mind. I'm guessing a lot of these are going to be missing from the listing. So let's jump into that. All right. So we're going to do the exact same thing. So you can see optimization score. She's at about 9,800. Listing strength is a 5.9. Let's see why. Title has 125 plus characters, five bullet points. Listing contains seven pictures, 150 characters in each bullet. It looks like the ratings is what's bringing you down. View your product's total ratings and their impact on listing strength. So I'm guessing she doesn't have as many as her competitors. So there we go. That's what I was looking for. All right, cool. So she has great rating overall, but she just has too few of ratings, which is why her listing is tanking. So if we went into look at this, let's just look at fasting T. So fasting drops, that's going to be an expensive keyword to go after for not having fasting tea. Let's look at the top ones. So 181 listings. It's actually, this might be a pretty good opportunity because bad reviews, only 181. Fasting tea, 54. There's a big one. Um, green tea, blueberry slim life. So they have 41,000. I wonder what these two are doing to get up so fast into that. Um, 92. So this is actually a pretty open category. There's not a lot of ratings on this. So good for you for finding this niche. Um, now we just need to get your, get you to the top. This is what I had the other day peak. So peak seems to be dominating this category, but again, not a lot of reviews in this category, but I don't see a sponsored brand top of search, anything, either video make a video one for top of search number one, because there's nothing coming up. So nobody is doing it most likely. And also make a headline search ad like this. I call it a headline search ad, but whatever it's called. You can also target, like Adam mentioned last time, category targeting ad over here to the left to show up there. Let's scroll down a little bit more. And then here's a video ad. So non top of search video ad right here. And then I also don't see you showing up for advertising anywhere on this keyword. So there's one, let's see, what's her brand name? Elite. Yep, Elite. Yeah, so they're not even on page one. So we talked about extensively building your audience up to get onto page one for this. So keep working on doing that. But yeah, not even on page one for organic. So just need to learn how to sell this thing and get it selling to get to page one. Get it, Just try your best to get it into the hands of customers. If it's a good product, it will sell itself after time. So you're not a drink mix, so you don't have that weight loss. Again, it's a, it's a word that can be very tricky, so be careful with weight loss, but let's see what happens when we put it in. Um, detox tea for belly fat. You can put fat in there. That will help. And it seems like these are a detox cleanse tea, but you're not marketing for that. Um, flat tummy tea, that sounds like a trademark term, so I'm going to avoid that. You're not a powder. So you actually do pretty well with the research as far as like having search terms in. You put slim in there. Lose. Fast, fasting salts, fasting salts, appetite suppressant tea, um, detox body cleanse, bulletproof. You can see we're increasing your optimization score just by putting these in. Let's look at your listing here. Um, and maybe it's this isn't pulling in anymore. So I'm wondering if you do have any back end search terms. And so if you don't, make sure you start advertising or putting some of those in. Again, avoiding trademark terms. You do not want to be suspended. All right, cool. And let's go into the listing itself. So we talked about the ratings. Let's look at pictures. This is a good first photo. It's very eye-catching. All right, so boosts your immune system, enhances overall well-being, boosts your energy, improves your digestive health. This is really good at focusing on benefits, not the features of the tea. Features would be, it has turmeric, so it enhances your overall health. So it's just talking about the benefits to the end consumer right here, which is good. Uh, this, I don't know, does much for me, but you do get to see the back. And so the back is actually really good because it gives you the ingredient, which is the feature. And then it tells you how that ingredient helps you, the end consumer, which is the benefit. So ingredients and benefits, she even named it that. And so you can see what all this does. Um, I'd consider zooming in on that. I think she probably has that down here. This is another good one, a comparison. 
So made in the USA, caffeine, caffeine free, gluten free, 100% organic, made with love. And so other products don't have all that, which is good. And then they have fillers, and this one doesn't. So it's another good comparison photo. And then this one is feature and benefit driven. It's very small, but again, it helps you see what's in it and what it does for you, which I like. And then a lifestyle image. It's okay, but lifestyle images, yeah. Let's look at the video real quick. She is my favorite <laughs> beverage. And when I convert a leap to like loud, a leap herbal positivity tea subscription box, I mean, I need to try these. These have great health benefits, which is what drove me to the box. Elite Immune Herbal Tea is a blend of herbal teas that help to improve your immune system daily. It's a great tea blend if you're doing intermittent fasting for more than 12 hours. It helps keep you from feeling starving without any side effects. Elite Detox Tea helps your digestive health, especially if you're constipated, bloated, or have digestion. Did I mention how delicious both these teas are? The flavors are so great because of the herbal blend that they use. The box also comes with a super cute box. Mine is red, but it comes with various colors. The Elite Positivity Tea subscription box is absolutely amazing. I love the way it makes me feel. That's interesting. So it looks like she's really tackling UGC, so getting people to do it. And the subscription box is probably actually from her website. And so it's interesting that she got it put on the Amazon listing and Amazon didn't take that down. But you could protect your listing with your other products. It might be expensive within this category. So again, sponsored display, sponsored brands, protecting against your ASIN. It's going to help you out. And then I like the virtual bundle there. And then you can see people are buying it together. So that's good too. And then use your other brand to protect this one. Um, this looks like your brand story, which is good. Um, then, yeah, overall, it's a pretty good listing. It really focuses on benefits, which is really good. Um, something that I think could really help your sales is coming out with variations. I don't know if you can. I think we might have talked about this. But coming out with a one-pack, three-pack, six-pack. And so one-pack at $16.00 three pack at 2.25 the price, and then a six pack at buy four, get two free. And so that could be really helpful as far as increasing your average order value, which will then decrease your cost to acquire a customer because you're gonna be more profitable in the front end because people will buy three, six bags at a time and get on that subscription as well. Um, with your bundle, if they save money, you could put like a little red badge right here that says save 25% or whatever they save, whatever that percentage is. Looks like it's, more like 12% and so, or 13%. And so you could sit, put save 13% as a big like red badge right there. So just show that off right here. And then if you had those three packs, six packs, you could have more virtual bundles to take up more space. And so you could have the three packs of both of them, the six packs of both of them, the three and the six pack of both of them. Now, if you don't wanna send all those into FBA, what you can do is you could actually do it from, an FBM order. And so that's what we did is we'd have our one pack FBA, our three pack FBM and our six pack FBM. Therefore our three PL could just pack it off the shelf and you don't have to pre-pack three packs. That makes sense. So you don't have to set three packs aside and bundle them up. You can just take three one packs and put them into a box and then ship them out as they come in. And then if you see sales starting to pick up on one variation, like three pack intermittent fasting tea is starting to pick up in sales, then what I would do is then form that three pack, send it into FBA. And so we did this with one of our soap listings. Our soap listing, we had a one pack, three pack, six pack. And what we noticed was the three pack started selling a lot more or not a lot more than the one pack, but it sold a lot. So it was selling like five to 10 a day. And so we started sending that pre-bundled into Amazon to sell as FBA. And so that's a good way to test variations always offer free shipping on those variations if you're doing FBM. And then you can send them in as FBA as a result of them going up in sales. All right, I'm going to stop here and see if you guys have any comments, questions, anything to add to this listing. No, I, I thought the listing looked really good. I did check inside Zom Guru and it looks like it just didn't pull in the back end search terms for, for anyone. So it wasn't, it wasn't just her listing or anything. I wonder if Amazon actually put a block on that. 
Uh, please scroll down. Do they have a subscribe and save coupon on? Because that could be very helpful. Good call. Yeah. So no subscribe and save, which could be huge. Um, yeah. Add that as soon as possible. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's recurring, recurring revenue will like increase the multiple that your brand sells for so much because subscriptions are everything in this game. Subscriptions. Yeah. They, they are obviously automatic income. And that's one problem I see with a lot of entrepreneurs and a lot of the people in our space is they're so focused on making the first sale in the front end that they don't ever realize that it's actually the back end that where is where you make most of your money. It's not the front end. It's not the first sale. It's not the first anything. It's the back end. It's the repeat sales. So our average order value on Amazon was around $27, which is pretty low. Our average order value on Shopify was 60. And our average, our lifetime value of a customer was 340. And so if we always ran our business off of just the front end, we would have never grown that fast because we would have just been focused on making profit right away. But if you have a great product that people are going to come back to buy over and over again, then you need to focus on lifetime value and focus on the back end. Email follow-ups, remarketing paid subscribers. So with this product, it's a 14 pack. I would consider that a 14 day supply. And so I would be remarketing them every 14 days after purchase to get them to purchase again. And you can do that with sponsored display ads. You can do it with DSP. On your Shopify store, you can do that with like remarketing ads with Facebook, retargeting ads on Facebook, remarketing ads on Google. So there's lots of ways to do that. So stop focusing on the front end so much, focus on the back end. Anything else you saw, Adam? That was the main thing. And then it looks like she's got some buy box issues on the right there. So scroll down a little bit further. Yep. No, keep going. Yeah. Well, this isn't her. Right. So that's, I mean, that's a huge that's going to eat up ads budget, ads performance. That's going to... Actually, no, this um, this is her. Yeah. That's her. Okay. So she has her... Different options. She has her FBA listing and her FBM listing. Yeah. So she follows that strategy bias. All right, cool. It's good that she has bundles. Yeah, yeah. She does have bundles. All right. Anybody have any other questions? Justice, you got anything to add? No, this is exciting. I mean, I think for a lot of people just seeing it live like this, optimizing it, it's like, take these notes and go go do it. Like it's, it's just sitting there. Um, if you haven't already, it's easy to like, just look over this. There's so many people that completely look over this side and it's like, man, this is such a simple way to just go and optimize. So I think this is, this is great for everyone. Hey, I wanted to thank you for watching this video and I picked out another video just for you. So make sure you check out that other video and what do they need to do? Do they need to like and subscribe? Yeah. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? <laughs>